have decided to upgrade this video from a Monday History of the Banlist video to a Friday Discussion video. This is the first time that we have had carbon copy lists, that the updates from 2004 to 2005 are identical in the TCG and OCG regions. This is disregarding a few of the imports which I had missed. This actually brings a couple interesting issues to mind. So far the series has been detailing the changes, a peek into the metagame, and my two cents on the forbidden and limited changes. But there is a weakness of the format, that being redundancy between videos. Until 2013, the TCG and OCG regions shared a ban list. In order to add variety to the series, I have tried to focus on different cards in the two segments, and I think that is a reasonable compromise, but in the future there might be further revisions on that front. The core point of interest, though, are those OCG imports, at least for this discussion video. I have encountered a small problem in finding out which cards were available in which region. There is a very good list of current OCG cards which have not yet made their way to the TCG, courtesy of the YGO organization. But I have not yet found a historic list of when cards were imported, and to what region. I am probably just going to make a spreadsheet with the release dates in each region. But it is a bit more complicated than the TCG and OCG. A comment on the last History of the Banlist video said that Sacred Phoenix of Nifs was preemptively banned before it was released, which is partially true. In South Korea, the card was banned before it was released, and the KCG isn't something that I have even brought up yet. I just learned that the Elder Entities were South Korean exclusive cards, so they were not part of the Greater OCG. Not just that, but there is also a traditional Chinese exclusive list from 2016. This is super notable as you could play with all the dragon rulers as well as the baby dragons, even though they were banned in the rest of the OCG. There was only one traditional Chinese language ban list, so I assume that next month in April the CCG defaulted back to the OCG ban list, rebanning the dragon rulers. Maybe? I really don't know. But it gets weirder. Even in regions where the cards are printed in the same language, there are still exclusive cards. Recall that Shooting Quasar Dragon and, more notoriously, Utopia the Lightning were exclusive to everywhere but the PAL regions, which was particularly troubling as the card was an efficient answer to the question posed by Apocleefort Towers. Not to mention the cards which have not yet been released in Oceania. And it doesn't even stop there! Did you know that there are mechanical differences between the TCG and OCG? There are region-specific rulings, which is mind-boggling in itself. But hypothetically, you could be on the Midway Islands, between Hawaii, part of the US and the TCG region, and Japan, obviously in the OCG. Which region's rulings would you be beholden to? What about countries that the products are not officially released in? Is Russia in the TCG? Or in the OCG? Or both? Russia is already in two continents, but what rule set would they use? I know that all of this has boiled down to a crock of semantics, but I do think that there are a few important things to learn. First, that I should be more careful in the research phases of the series. And second, that the Yu-Gi-Oh game is not a monolith. It gets messy, 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 messy when you try to dive into the minutia. Sorry to be so wordy, as what I meant to say was that I have nothing else to say in regards to the 2005 OCG ban lists. Pretty much everything from the previous video still stands. But next time, we should look at some of the impacts of these lists, specifically the world's metagame from the DM era. This will be a fun showcase.